Hey, Onslaught here, back again with another tutorial, seeing as my first one did very well, thank you all for that. Uh, this one here is going to be about uh, two PC streaming with OBS Teleport. Now, I know this is not a new thing, but I'm just going to show you how to set it up in a way that you won't get uh, any network lag and basically alleviate all the problems that NDI or Teleport-based uh, two PC streaming with OBS uh, has with it. So first off, obviously, you're going to need OBS Studio installed. If you don't, you know, I don't really think I need to include it in the tutorial. You know, just Google OBS and download it and install it. And then you're going to need this. So I'm going to leave a link to this one in the description. And just click here, and it will prompt you to save this zip file here. I've already, obviously, done this, so I'm not going to re-download it. But this is what you get... Uh, when you unzip the package, you'll get this. And this is a Windows tutorial, so we're going to click uh, Windows x86 underscore 64. So if you're using, I don't know why you'd be using 32-bit Windows, but, <laughs> you know, it's there. It works on both. And you're just going to run this, agree to this. Now this here, you'll need to, uh, if you've installed OBS somewhere that's not the default location, you'll need to uh, browse and point this so that it matches with this and just hit install on it and that's it you need you need to do this on both computers so your gaming computer and your streaming computer and to know if it's installed you'll be able to see it will come up here when you open up OBS you'll see this uh, teleport icon now <clears throat> the way I'm going to alleviate the problem of network lag is by using a separate subnet basically with another network adapter so if your motherboard already has two LAN ports on it or two Ethernet ports however you want to say it uh, then you're pretty much good to go if you have them on if you have that on both computers but say one or both of your computers does not uh, have two Ethernet ports and don't worry because you can buy the you can find these even cheaper honestly but I'm just showing you this one on eBay to show it's only 25 bucks and if you need more bandwidth, which I'll get into later in the video, uh, you could go for a two and a half gigabit, or if you have the PCIe lanes for it, you could go a 10 gigabit one, which honestly, secondhand 10 gigabit ones aren't much more expensive than this. So it does make it hard for me to want to actually recommend something like this. But these, even at my local computer shops and stuff, I've seen these even cheaper, like 15 bucks and stuff. So honestly, $26 is a... A little bit pricey for this to be completely honest with you and then you're just going to need a ethernet patch cable so that's just your regular just cat 5e would be good enough if you're using gigabit or maybe you want to go for well, most of the most of the time you just find cat 6 now anyway so just your standard cat 6 ethernet patch cable and you're just going to connect the two computers together and then you're going to need to go into your network connections here and you see I've already labeled this one OBS and if we click in properties and then go on the internet protocol version 4 your IPv4 and properties now here your standard default gateway for your internet will be something like 192.168.1.1 that would be probably what most of you are running and if you're not running that then well you're probably already aware of what you're doing so you probably already know where I'm going with this anyway if you've set this to something different manually so basically I'm going to put this on a different subnet by uh, putting point two here so it's not I'm sorry it's not on the same network as my as my internet And then on the gaming computer side, you're going to do the opposite of this one. So you're going to make uh, the IP address, the default gateway and the IP, no, getting jumbled up there. So what you're going to do on the other computer, so on your gaming machine, you're going to make the IP address of that one, the default gateway of this computer. And you're going to make the default gateway, the IP address on the gaming computer. So. I'll show you what that looks like if I click here. 
And hang on, let me just swap my keyboard and mouse over to this computer. I'll just use the OBS preview to view this. So as you can see, it is uh, it is just what the what was written there before, but backwards. So you can use these numbers. This should work for pretty much ninety nine point nine percent of people. And then let's see if we can do this here. Yes, I can just use the OBS preview, so I don't need to uh, flick my monitors over. You're just going to type in on, on the game computer. I just use Identifier uh, Gaming PC. As for this quality here, yes, now you're actually on its own standalone uh, network interface, so you have a full gigabit of bandwidth or more if you're using more than a gigabit. Uh, despite that, do not set this over 90. I find that it makes it, for whatever reason, the footage choppy and laggy. I mean, it does give you a warning not to do it. Obviously, it is correct. It does, it does substantially increase the amount of bandwidth it uses for very, for very little gain. Okay, so to set what resolution and frame rate that you are actually sending to your streaming computer, you're going to go into settings and video. So anyway, to set your resolution and frame rate, uh, it's just going to be what's under video. Like this stuff here doesn't matter because you're not actually streaming or recording from this computer. You're just going to be just setting what's getting output, basically. So you're going to set um, your resolution here and your frame rate here. Now, I can't actually uh, change any of this because I'm currently actually recording off of it and you can't change it while uh, OBS Teleport is active. So there's that. Uh, I've got it in this mode here because I was testing different you know, what the max FPS and resolutions that you can actually run uh, with a gigabit connection would be. So you can't actually go over 120 FPS if you set integer, but if you set fractional, you can set this number to as high as you want. Like I even set it to a thousand, so everything works. Once you're done with that, you know, just make sure you're clicked uh, teleport enabled. And if you can't change the settings, you would need to uncheck this box and then check it again. I can't do that because otherwise, like I said before, it will, in fact, stop recording from this computer. Okay, so back on your streaming computer, you're just going to set uh, down here, you're going to click Add, and then you're going to go Teleport, Create New, and then when you refresh this list, hopefully, actually, it won't matter now anyway, but you'll see you'll have two because there's the one going down the main network, and then this is the one that we set, so the one with that uh, subnet of two. So as you can see, that now works. And you have the picture here. And everything else from there is just as OBS would normally work. So I'm not going to cover that in this short tutorial. I was just going to cover just OB setting up OBS Teleport, basically. And up on the screen, I will leave a list of resolutions and frame rates that will work on a gigabit connection. Uh, but basically it was something along the lines of like 1080p up to 180 frames per second, uh, 1440p up to 144 frames per second and 4K up to 75 frames a second. So if you require more than that, then you will need to go beyond a one gigabit connection because that's the maximum that you'll be able to get if you leave the quality at 90, which has said that is the recommended one if you want the best quality. And uh, going higher than that, as I said, will just cause problems for you, so don't do it. It does give you a warning, and the warning was kind of there for a reason, but it's me and I'll experiment still, and I'll be here to tell you that it doesn't work. But anyway, that's really it for this tutorial, nice and short. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.